and deliver the football. And a pitching can do it, but you have to be able to stand in there and deliver the football. He's already one for one and swings one out to Letty Brown for an easy first down on his second passing attempt. And just moving back, if he has a big day, that's their identity as an offense. Good rhythm to start by Ford Wheat. Get up there, react, and get the ball on the perimeter. Letty Brown picks up the first down. Play action, the blitz picked up, so Deggie's going to take a shot down the sideline. Underthrown and off the hand of Ford. Catch it or force DPI. Flags down before this play gets started. It was well designed, and Michael Loft, second down and 15. Four-man rush. It's picked up. Underneath throw to Winston Wright. Winston Wright was the go. Listen to your feet back in the pocket. If number one, two aren't there, get your check down. Eggie out of the pocket. Trying to extend the play. And now a decision to make. A play we want to get to. A run actually looks great with the box count. Might be a free play. Right at the first down marker, but it looked like the ball was dropped. Great job by Sam James. That's Dan Orlovsky. I'm Bob Oshusen. Rocky Boyman with us as well. And a one-yard gain for Letty. It's here today, three and a half tackles for loss, two sacks last week. And I asked Ron Roberts, the defensive coordinator, you can bring one player with you in a bar fight. Who are you bringing? He's bringing Terrell Bernard. Tate. That's a great comparison. Third down and three. Daigie looking at a blitz. Off his back foot. It's another first down catch. And session so far has been a good one in the red zone with a first down. Another blitz coming. And this ball batted down at the line. And he's standing up here and looking to bend the edge. Second and ten. Quarterback run. Davey takes a hit at the eight-yard line. Davey on a rollout. Davey. Reaching for the first down line to gain. He goes, I got to go run. There's open space. Go get my first down. Letty Brown looking for the goal line. He's down inside the one. Yeah, yeah and, 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 and almost panicked and doing a great job oh. today of not doing it. No panic in these programs. Jared Dagey back to work. A quick toss to Letty Brown. He's got close to nine yards on first down. In the swamp on ESPN. Bob Dan, back to you. We might have the ball away, Jared Dagey and West Virginia dodge a bullet, and they're at their own 29-yard line with a straight-ahead handoff to Alex Sinkfield. That quick trap by West Virginia's offensive line. Dagey, zone read, and Baylor had that bottled up. Nowhere to go for Winston Wright. Yeah, I want to run it to somebody else. Sinkfield. Down the sideline! Alex Sinkfield with a flag down. Cut down. Terrell Bernard showing blitz right in the middle of the formation. They'll throw a little bubble screen out to Sam Jane. Play caller, you try to use that against them. Letty Brown, second effort. And I think Jared Dagey go gets it himself. Quarterback sneak. Letty Brown tried to get it. Two fourth down conversions here in the first half now for West Virginia. Dagey off his back foot, flips it. He has. Sinkfield patiently behind his blockers. Six yards. Blitz off the edge. Dagey doesn't see it. The ball is loose. Run. And onto the field for their runoffs. Ball tipped down at the line. Off the quick hit. Bob Oshusen, Dan Orlovsky, Rocky Boyman. Back to the offense. And a quick bubble screen. Rice Ford Wheat easily picks up the first. So far for the offense. They're down 7 0. That offense with Sam Ellinger usually is rolling. Baylor showing blitz. Quick little pop pass to the tight end. Right at the line of scrimmage. Miles era and the scandals that ensued. And through all of it, he stayed because he believed in this program. Four-man rush. Dagey. That's going to be intercepted. Picked off. Sean T. J.T. Woods, pardon me. <laughs> Dagey in the shotgun on first and ten. 
Letty Brown tries to turn the corner. He's got nowhere to go. Side to side speed. Impersonate Aaron Rodgers, and I would look at him like, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Edge blitz, tunnel screen right behind it. Well designed at Sam James. He's got a first down. Green, outstanding, just expectation, anticipation by a play caller. Daggy, quick hitter. Again, it's Sam James. It's another first down. West Virginia does that. They're complete control of their offense. Letty Brown lost two. Virtual whistles that a lot of the players have said are hard to hear. I wonder if he just didn't hear a whistle as they swing past the Letty Brown is bottled. I, mean, I like think that is a it. lack of discipline. It probably was. Right up the gut, Letty Brown. Carrying tacklers out to midfield. His career at Delta State was the defensive coordinator for Ron Roberts when he was the head coach there. So we're in to run his defense. Minute to go in the first half. Diggy back to throw. Still has a timeout to work with. He's going to throw that one away. It'll be third. Roberts as his play caller. Bears show blitz. Here they come. Swing pass to Sinkfield. One on one in the flat. And now Baylor should call it. I was, I was going to guess that. Yeah, I know you were. <laughs> Diggy to Letty Brown. COVID testing for both programs because, you know, Tennessee and their game as Letty Brown picks up three or four. And I'm hopeful that the NFL has their protocols in place to kind of handle everything that's getting thrown at them. Diggy on third down. And about a yard short wins delay. They're going to get themselves a little bit more of a sample size before they start putting out some rankings. And that seems like the wise move. Yeah, your football team. Finds a check down. And not Diggy, quite frankly, did not play well enough last week. We need him to be better this week. And he swings one to Sinkfield, but Sinkfield's got no chance. On what well, Alabama's defense was such a weakness last year. Colm plays against attacking them, and then Auburn, Georgia, like, who's for real? We well, they know who's inside, who's outside, so they have confidence they can play fast. They did not do it on that play. That's what sprung it. Well, they did it here. The sideline where those defenders are, everybody's got to play their part. And the thing you have to do, Dan, is it changed. It never worked, bud. <laughs> Third and seven. Blitz coming. Daigie finds a man in the flat at Sickfield. He's got a first down. He becomes the receiver again here, but missed it. It went through. It's because of Baylor's aggression. They show blitz. Lenny Brown gets back on the field, takes the handoff. Country Roads in Morgantown at the end of football and basketball games. Good as it gets after the timeout. Letty Brown inside the 10-yard line. Pushing people off the line. Baylor late running a player off. They may have had 12 on the field. For play action pass for West Virginia. Diggy. Incomplete. Protect the defense as well with that substitution. Letty Brown. Looking for the goal line. He's a yard short. Betty Brown again. Did he get there? Well, so West Virginia back to the offense with a jet. Out sooner or later right. because the rush is so good. Here's a handoff to Letty Brown. He's about a yard shy. Want to let that ball go, and you anticipate that post is going to take that zone defender away, and it doesn't, and he just falls off. Asante. Back to the offense for West Virginia. Diggy on a rollout. A flip into the flat. TJ Banks, the tight end. <laughs> Letty Brown in the backfield. And he's going to get caught behind the line. And driven back. It is well, even though I had not met him. <laughs> Letty Brown gets some of it back. It's surmountable as much as Baylor has struggled. And they get the stop. That's a well. This is certainly not over yet for Baylor. A lot of time on the clock, and West Virginia at their own half-yard line. But they may have given them a free play by jumping in the neutral zone. Yeah. Well, Baylor's defense going to sell out to stop the. This should be another run downhill for West Virginia. Get on the, the ground with Letty. Pop pass. Sam James. He might have the first down. 
Agee, a veteran quarterback, snaps it with three, and he's going to go down, and now you call timeout. There's Letty Brown. He'll submarine for four yards. Force that timeout, that's fine, but this should not be any form of a drop back pass. It's a little pop pass forward to Winston Wright, and he'll come down. Of course, or at least attempts to. Jared Dagey trying to win it. Jet sweep. Winston Wright. Only four. That would be inside of 54 yards. That's probably where they need to get to. Dagey. Seam route. Dropped. Sam James had it. Defenders over the two inside receivers. That receiver up top, one on one, got a win. Dagey. That ball is caught. Well short of the first down, though. For Letty Brown empties the backfield. Dagey. Wants to set up the screen. That is blown up. Put them in conflict with your run pass option. Again, they want the screen. Again, it's not there. Pressure. You've got to find a one on one matchup. Dagey steps up in the pocket. Right at the first down line to gain. Coming back to catch the ball is Sam James and then spins. Dagey's in the shotgun. He'll flip one in the flat. It's an easy first down pickup for Michael Laughlin, the tight end. Dagey looking for the back left corner, and he's got it for the touchdown. For my second down call, but I'm committed to running the ball in this drive. Instead, it's Dagey on play action, and that's a pseudo running play, right? A little pitch and catch. I might not even get it to third down and just run out my field goal unit out there. Unless you find the end zone, and Letty Brown almost found it. You get down to the ground if you're Jarrett Dagey. Down, third down and a yard. Letty Brown, he's got the first down, he's got the end zone, he's got...